Very good afternoon from the Perth Hockey Stadium where the sun is beginning to set across the pitch but it is a beautiful day here in Western Australia and we're just about to see the Vic Park Xavier Hockey Club take on Suburban Lions Hockey Club in the Premier One grade of the Hockey WA League and it promises to be another cracking match. Suburban Lions currently sitting top of the ladder, played 3-1-3 and Vic Park currently sitting in third spot. They've played three, one, two, lost one. And so they'll be looking to get back to winning ways after a disappointing 1-0 loss to Westside Wolves. And today will be hopefully a day where they can keep in touch with the leaders. They don't want to lose to Suburban Lions and lose two games back to back. But it should be a fascinating game as we turn our attention to the team lineups and the players to look out for. Well, in my opinion, the exciting players to look out for in the Vic Park lineup are Claudia Nielsen wearing the number four shirt. Their captain, Rachel Frusha, who will be always a key for them. And Kimberly Young, she always seems to score when we're live streaming the games here. So I'm going to put my money on her getting another goal just for the cameras, but always around the box and always looking dangerous. We turn our attention to the Lions lineup. Well, they are lucky to have Jocelyn Bartram in goal for them, currently a hockey roo player. And she's the only current international in the starting lineup because all of the other hockey roos being rested. Paula Debanche is a former. Spanish international and we have also Maddie Radcliffe and Ash Nelson wearing 18 and 19 respectively both former hooker, hockey roos and another player I think to look out for is number 11 Natasha Del Borello. Well the two teams are coached by Chris Taylor that's Vic Park coach and Lindsay Wright who's also wearing the number 33 Lindsay Wright, who was appointed in February 2017, played 209 games for the Republic of South Africa and captained them. And she's wearing the number 33 shirt. And uh, a gentleman should never give away a lady's age, so I'm not going to say how old she is. But she's getting on a bit in the playing stats. But anyway, our umpires for this match are Tracy Farrelly and Kimberly Todd. And I've got to be careful because I'm sure Lindsay's husband, the umpire Peter Wright, is watching from South Africa. So we'll say a cheerio to Peter. One of the best umpires going around. And always umpires with a smile on his face. Very popular amongst the players. Well, start not too far away. And this is an important match for Vic Park if they want to stay in touch with Lions. Lions, of course, made it all the way through to the grand final last year and were defeated by Wasps. If you look at the lineups for both teams or the scoring capabilities, both teams have had six goal scorers in their first three matches. So that uh, means that there are goals coming from all over the park for both teams, which should make for a very entertaining game this afternoon. A big part lost in the men's game just a few minutes ago. That was against YMCC. Can they get a victory today against the Lions? And a blemish on the Lions unbeaten start to the season Vic Park get us underway and the sun is still shining beautifully here at Curtin University at the Perth Hockey Stadium intercepted well almost and really determined to get on the end of that was Sam Prost Sam Prost who normally wears the captain's armor but in fact it's Justin Bartram who's been given it today so Vic Park, good pass forward, managing to pick out Renee Rockliffe. She again will always be lively for them. Over the side it goes, so Vic Park ball, making a way forward. Now the number 14 is Hannah Nalder. And it's Maddie Ratcliffe who's stolen that one away. Ratcliffe, though, with faced with two defenders, has to hold it up, looking for support, and support comes into the deep. And right in front of the goal, it's been blocked brilliantly. Well, just did not get the shot away. Just dallied too long on the ball was Tina Mash. And the chance goes begging, but it was good interplay from Paula Demolch and Maddie Ratcliffe. Demolch with a really good run from the midfield. Paula de who was born in Mendoza in Argentina, but played her international hockey for Spain. She is one of the players I said to look out for. First came over to Suburban Lions in 2013, Paula de and 
Spent one season with Wolves and then returned to the Lions. So she didn't like the dancing with Wolves. But here come Vic Park now. They are known as the Panthers. As the ball comes wide again to Renee Rockliffe. Infield she goes and peels for a free hit from Sam Prost. And she gets the decision. Played on quickly. Maddie Radcliffe feeds the ball off onto the left-hand side. Good overlapping run coming from Ash Nelson. Ash Nelson, of course, who retired in July 2017 from international hockey. That was after playing 205 games for the Hockey Roos and 69 goals. And that's just gone out of play, but it was almost a very good steal from Angela Chilwell. That's nip and tuck at the moment. Hard to choose between the two teams, but you'd have to say that best chance definitely falling for Lions as they get the ball from the side now. Charlotte Owens infield to Debonche. Passed around the back line. Natasha Del Borello is marshalling the defence for Lions, playing in the centre of defence. She was recruited from Raiders in 2018 and seems to have settled very well with Suburban Lions as they come into the circle again. Good passage of play, great goalkeeping. Mackenzie Epps off her line to deny Chilwell opening the scoring for Lions. So Mackenzie Epps has been involved quite a bit in the opening five minutes. Ratcliffe out wide, trying to just get the better of Jamie Thomas. She gets the free hit, plays on very quickly. Thomas retreating, trying to get out of the way. And in the end, it worked to Vic Park's favour as they stole the possession back and the ball was carried out of defence by the captain, Rachel Fruship. Rachel Fruship, who product of Penrose College, also spent some time at the University of Maryland in 2014-15. Playing for the Maryland Terrapins. It's one of my favourite names, actually, of the US hockey teams. Stolen again. Chilwell is not going to get there. Good defence from Vic Park. And once more, they carry it clear. And that's hit forward by... Good smash forward coming from Jamie Thomas. And free hit one by Michelle Harvey. So Emma Reid waits for the ball to come. Ball must go the five metres, remember, before it goes inside the circle. It's done that easily as it's played back to Jamie Thomas. And unfortunately, her pass out wide looking for Abby Taylor just goes out of play. Oh, Lions taking their time from the side. Eliza Smith. In the end, losing it. Kimberly Young just hitting the turf, but she's back on her feet. No problems there. She's also in good space now, breaking forward, calling for the ball. It's played directly in. It comes rebound off the post. And well, that was allowed to run. And off the post again. Would you believe it? Well, the first one wouldn't have counted, but the second one surely would have. Emma Reed hits the post. And that is unlucky for Vic Park. They thought they might have taken the lead in just the sixth minute. Emma Reed with a fantastic effort. Another product of Penrose College. She's been a junior with Vic Park and come through the ranks. Emma Reed and in the first team now are so close to really giving her team a great start in this match. But it is not a goal. I think Joss Bartram thought it was going wide. Now it's Young giving chase. Young trying to apply pressure. Comes off her stick. Unfortunately goes over the side. Played on quickly. Good awareness coming at the back for Suburban Lions. Charlotte Owens, those given possession away. Young is calling for the ball again. Just taking 
maybe a little bit too long at the top of the circle, Danielle Bestel. She just got caught in two minds, and that time it's going to go over the stick of Ruby Fogarty, over, out of play, over the sideline. Another free hit to Vic Park. So Vic Park applying pressure. Just need to turn that pressure into goals. Jamie Thomas goes back, Ratcliffe. Putting pressure on, just waiting for the chance to pounce. Maddie Radcliffe. Ali Nolder carries it forward. Here's Kimberly Young. Oh, she got past one, almost two. And gets the free hit. So Young plays on quickly. And that's going to be a penalty corner, not the five metres. So good work from Kimberly Young. And Vic Park had the first penalty corner of the match. Can they turn it into a goal? And I mentioned they lost to Westside Wolves 1-0. They dominated that game in terms of possession and opportunities. Just could not score. But now they've got a chance, a really good chance to open the scoring. Top of the circle is the captain, Rachel Frusha. And her team has to spread out around the circle. So you just wonder whether there's a variation coming. And we've got a runner has gone. Or oh, what's the, or is it the injector's taken too long to inject after the whistle? Oh, this is a rule I must admit I'm not too fond of. And so it has to go to the halfway. The whistle is gone again now. Well, what was the difference between that one? Now it comes to Frusha and takes a deflection and it's deflected out for a long corner off the defenders. They're calling for the ball, but the ball patrol is uh, asleep on the job. Just walking, standing on the side, holding the ball. Watching the game. Got the best view in the house down there, pitch side. Comes wide now to Maddie Naylor Pratt. Maddie Naylor Pratt gets the free hit. Crucia and nobody there. Maddie Naylor Pratt wearing number 24. Vic Park, of course, was with Suburban Lions, so she'll have a point to prove, I'm sure, in this match and will want to get a victory. Showing a lot of the ball, but unfortunately just coming off the foot there of Jay Just. Deflection takes it out over the side. Charlotte Owens, again, Deflected this time off the stick of Kayla O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan again is one of the bright players of the future. As the ball comes into Debanche for Lions. And it just got lost there for a second. Eliza Smith recovered in the end. Carried forward again now. Lions and Charlotte Owens gets the free hit in the shade of the grandstand. And well, she saw the runner, Debauche, but there was no way that Debauche was going to get on the end of that one. And just thrown out of defence into the space, but I was asking a great deal of Amberley Abbott to get on the end of that one. Owens goes infield. Smith deals with it well. And now we see... The player coach, Lindsay Wright, helping out at the back. Lindsay Wright trying to organise the players around her. Debanche just bouncing off as she looked to challenge Renee Rockcliffe. Renee Rockcliffe, great pass inside the D across the face of goal. Good save by Bartram. And in the end, she had to just smother the ball. So it's another penalty corner to Vic Park. So that's their second of the match. And they'll be hoping that they can convert this one. Five minutes to go to the first break. Love to take a goal into that quarter time break. Rachel Frusha again at the top of the circle, just waiting. Comes at it, it's a good trap. Frusha looks to slap it. 
to reaward. So another penalty corner. Just feel maybe the delivery from Emma Reid needs to just have a bit more pace on it. So Reid again. Frusia at the top of the circle. The whistle goes. It's trapped well. Frusia, good save from Bartram. Long corner. So Jocelyn Bartram who started her hockey with Sydney East's club and the Wombats Hockey Club in Albury. One of three goalkeepers in the Hockey Roos squad. That's a good steal coming. And a chance for Lions to break out of defence, but unfortunately played over the side. So possession straight back with Vic Park. Jamie Thomas goes infield again, collected this time by Renee Rockliffe. Rockliffe decides to take on two in the midfield, does very well. It's a good pass as well from her. That was a tricky one, though. Play back to Kayla O'Sullivan for her to get under control. Possession back now with Emma Reid. Frusia goes wide on to the right-hand side. Helped down the line by Maddie Naylor-Pratt. Just over three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. It was all Lions in the first five minutes. It's been all Vic Park in the second five. And then the, are we going to see a goal before the first break? Lions now coming forward looking to mount a last attack before the first break. Debanche makes a run forward. Ball played down the line. It's ricocheted though up off the foot of Amberley Abbott. So it will be Free hit outside the 23-metre line. Four lines. They can play it directly in. That's what they smash it towards the deep, keeping it in play. Desperation at the back, so it voids a long corner. Is Maddie Naylor Pratt trying to steal that one, but unsuccessful in the end. That was Ruby Fogarty. And just too much pace on that pass square from Renee Rockliffe. So it's back again, and the chance for Lions to get inside the circle. Well, they've got it inside the circle, but the defence is there with Jamie Thomas, takes it into the corner. Thomas, not many options there. Did she find the foot? Yes, she did. Although Tina Mash doesn't agree. Well, that's a very, very risky pass, and... One has to say, very well played in the end by Abby Taylor. A lovely turn and a chance to come forward now for Renee Rockliffe. Slips it forward into the path of Claudia Nielsen. Nielsen's got a little bit of pace. Nielsen, good control on the stick, looking up for the foul for a stick check, which she manages to get. Del Borello, the player, penalised, and that's a great pass. Frusia lays it into the D, and a good recovery by Del Borello. Plays it over the baseline. Long corner to Vic Park. Again, it's a good pass forward. Emma Reid now. Helps it down the line and a mistrap, unfortunately, for Vic Park. And it's going to be a 16. That was a shame because it was good pressure, good build-up. And just the final pass not kept under control by Claudia Nielsen. Well, didn't want the pass that time was Charlotte Owens. She got it, whether she liked it or not. Prost ricochets up off Frusia. Good covering play coming across from Naylor Pratt. Naylor Pratt as well. Just a little bit of a follow through on that challenge. Missed by the umpires. No complaints though from Chilwell. Into the circle it goes. It's going to break for Lions. And oh, this time the decision goes Vic Park's way. Tina Mash trying to get the shot away. All she got was air though. So calls for play to just be slowed down by Vic Park as the clock is running down Lindsay Wright gives chase 
Great awareness again from her. You'd expect that though with so much experience in the game. And unfortunately played forward and it found the foot of Sammy Pross. But the hoot is going to go and that will be the last action of the first quarter. No goals as yet, but Woodwork has been hit by Vic Park. Emma Reid with a sharp shot on the reverse stick, beating Justin Barch and the ball rebounding off the post in the sixth minute. And Chilwell creating a good opportunity to be denied by a good save from Mackenzie Epps. Going into the first break, it is Victoria Park nil, Suburban Lions nil. Uh, the players making their way out for the second quarter as the shadows lengthen here at the Perth Hockey Stadium. It is Vic Park nil, Suburban Lions nil. Are we going to get a goal before half-time? It's been an interesting game. Going the momentum shifting one way and then the other. Hooter goes for the second quarter to get underway. Over the ball for Vic Park is Michelle Harvey. Whistle goes. And she passes the ball back. Who's going to come out on top in this one? Oh, we're going to see a goal before halftime. Frusia plays it wide, full stretch, though, to get that one under control was Jamie Thomas, who started very well at the back for Vic Park. It'll be Lions ball from the side. Telling touch, but coming across is Frusha, chased by Maddie Radcliffe. Maddie Radcliffe again, who took a break from international hockey in December 2018 after three months off, decided to extend that. She just said she needed to refresh herself. She's only 21 years of age still and made a debut as a 19-year-old against Great Britain. And sometimes I think we underestimate the pressure on the young players when they step up to international sport. Kimberly Young collects now for Vic Park. Looks to take on the player coach, Lindsay Wright. Wins the long corner. That was pushed into some serious traffic there by Jamie Thomas. And now it's a free hit to... Lions, but did she stop the ball there? That's going to go out for 16. Umpires very quick to say players must be five metres away when a free hit is taken, and that's good umpiring because obviously that's when injuries can occur if players are just too close. Intercepted again by Charlotte Owens. But one back brilliantly by Michelle Harvey. And then over the side it goes from Owens. Owens tried to play on, but Harvey had already made a run forward, knowing it was a Vic Park ball. And an Alder. Fruchin Thomas at the back. Oh dear. That was not a good pass. So now. Lions in a very strong position to attack. Maddie Radcliffe over the ball. 
Comes back to Charlotte Owens. Owens just hesitating, almost closed down by Harvey. Comes back to Lindsay Wright. Lindsay Wright tries the long arm to belt it forward into the D. Good work being done in the midfield. Brilliant work. And that was, well, good work at the top of the circle from Abby Taylor to stop Sammy Pross getting into the circle. Owens wins it back again for the Lions. Pushes it forward. Nobody there. Collected by Jamie Thomas. Who indeed finds Reed. Reed, good pass forward, finds Kayla O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan's got pace, so too Lindsay Wright. Lindsay Wright chasing her all the way, but O'Sullivan's gone into the circle. O'Sullivan eventually prevented, and a penalty corner comes their way with a great run from Kayla O'Sullivan. And Vic Park have their fourth penalty corner. Can they turn this one into a goal? Just looking down below us, Coach Chris Taylor with a little grimace on his face. He's been associated with the club for over 40 years, both as a player, a coach, a parent. And uh, part of Vic Park history, he was in their first ever Premiership side back in 1996. So Frusha again waits at the top of the circle. We're just waiting for the Lions defence to get on the goal line. Justin Bartram at the back of the goal. She'll step forward. Ball comes out. It's a mistrap this time at the top of the circle from Danielle Bestel. But they've kept it alive. Reverse stick shot deflected. And good defence in the end coming from Ash Nelson. And well played, Ash Nelson. So Lindsay Wright goes to the air, brought down by Sammy Prost. Oh, a lovely little tackle just to take that away. A little stick poke coming from Hannah. So not Hannah Smith, it was Ellie Nulder. Just clips Ellie Pearson's foot. So very much like the first quarter, nothing to choose really between these two as we're approaching the end of the first five minutes of the second quarter. Help down the line. Good touch coming from Kayla O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan is quick. Gets a foot just outside the circle. That was good support play coming from Ellie Nulder. Misdirected pass, so it will be a 16 for Lions. Both teams using the substitutions rolling substitutions of course Maddie Radcliffe just come on after a little bit of a break just trying to remain in the shadows and then attack when the opportunity comes comes wide Reed plays it up the line Charlotte Owens again strong on the ball really good from her finds Debanche ricochets off Jamie Thomas's stick cleaned up in the end by Danielle Bestel Bestel continues but Prost managed to intercept that one. And the free hit goes this time against Ellie Nolder. So Ash Nelson comes across. Good pass finds Del Borello. Now it's wide. Charlotte Owens in a little bit of space. Owens, well, there was a stick check there. Surely and a penalty corner. Easy decision for the umpire. Jay just with a clumsy challenge and the Lions have their first penalty corner of the match. Oh, Vic Park will really kick themselves if Lions manage to convert this because they've had four penalty corners. Lions now with their first of the match. And making her way to the baseline is Eliza Smith to inject. Maddie Radcliffe waits at the top of the circle. Comes out. Radcliffe, well, she doesn't really get hold of that. The clearance is not a good one. Sammy Pross collects, eventually brings it under control. Good defence, though, but it caught the back of the stick of Jamie Thomas's stick. So once again, the injection, just a little bit slow pace. So Radcliffe was going to have to inject all the pace in the drag flick. 
as Nelson plays it forward. Charlotte Owens, good run from her. That caught the foot. So it will be Vic Park ball. That's good play out of defence by Vic Park. Going to let that one run. And now it's a chase for Amberley Abbott. Amberley Abbott's got the ball now for Vic Park. Left it behind for a second and... It just caught the foot. It's going to be a free hit, though, to Vic Park. But Lions, look how quickly they got their players back behind the ball. That's great coaching by Lindsay Wright to get them so disciplined to get behind the ball so quickly. Frusia goes the direct route on the angle. And there was like the parting of the Red Sea. It just opened up and the ball harmlessly ran out of play. De Bosch gets it just off the Vic Park player and over the side. So Charlotte Owens will play in from the side. Stolen back, good steal this time coming from Renee Rockcliffe, but it's been taken back. And here comes Prost. Prost accelerating towards the circle. Prost into the circle, forehand shot. It's a long, long way wide though. She was falling over as she tried to get the shot away. Uh, Debanche plays on quickly now for Lions. There's danger here into the circle, across the face of goal. Great defending. That was superb in the end from Jamie Thomas. It looked as if it was going to be a certain goal. Tina Mash playing it across the deep. But Thomas, stick low down, really good position. Managed to clear the danger. Uh, Thomas now coming into the midfield. Just lost possession there as Hannah Smith will collect and Taking a tumble, drawing the foul. So now Thomas is everywhere at the moment. Carrying it forward again. Into the circle it goes. Had to be collected by Lindsay Wright because lurking behind her was Michelle Harvey who was eager to have a clean shot at goal. And that's good skills again from Paula de Bon. She pushes it forward. It's going to be a foot race, but chasing all the way is Tina Mash. Mash now faced with Hannah Nalder. Into the circle it goes, and Mackenzie Epps watched that all the way into a right pad, and over the baseline it went long corner. Two Lions. Ash Nelson plays it wide to Maddie Radcliffe. Didn't get it under control first time, so forced a long way wide. Rachel Frusha stands in front of her. And good work by Frusha, and that's going to be cleared up to halfway. Will still be a Lions ball, unless there was a touch that I didn't see. It is indeed Lions ball. So we're about to enter the final five minutes of the first half. Still all level at nil-nil. And Kimberly Young tried to steal that one. And now from the side, Eliza Smith, Young steps forward. Played out wide this time by Hannah Smith. Maddie Radcliffe should bring that one under play, in to keep it in play, and it's just poked over the side by Jamie Thomas. Thomas again steals it away from Radcliffe, well-timed tackle. But here come Lions again. Good block at the top of the circle. Frusia. And they've played out of defence brilliantly again. Jamie Thomas involved. Looks to play it forward. Ricochets up. Brought down in the end by Renee Rockcliffe. Looking for the free hit. Didn't come her way. She fights back now trying to take on Ash Nelson. Nelson gets the better of that decision. We might see a card. In fact, we are going to see a card. Renee Rockcliffe. Gets a green card, so Vic Park down to 10 players for two of the last three and a half minutes. De Bonche, well, it's just been given back to her. Now into the circle she goes, appeals for an obstruction just outside the deep. A penalty corner's been awarded, Vic Park can't believe it. And I thought it would have been a free hit just outside. 
But a penalty corner is the decision. So now, not only a player down, Vic Park have to defend a penalty corner. And they will not want to concede with just three and a half minutes left in the first half. Once again, making her way to the baseline, Eliza Smith. Maddie Radcliffe waits at the top of the circle. Lindsay Wright is doing the stopping. Comes out, slow injection again. This time, Radcliffe goes on the reverse stick, but she lifted the shot too high. Of course, if it is going to be a strike, the first strike at goal must be the same high as the backboard, and immediately that went higher than that. But look at the pressure being applied by Lions late in this first half. They've got the extra player, so they want to really make Vic Park work hard. And that was played into the knee of Kimberly Young. So it will be a Vic Park free hit, and they'll take their time with this so that they can get back to their full quota of players. Nobody in too much of a hurry, and Young just rubbing her knee. Fuchsia self-passes, plays the ball square. Just trying to help that down the line was Michelle Harvey. She gets a free hit for stick foul on her. Oh dear, that was missed. And now it is Michelle Harvey in the corner. She looked to play that one into the circuit, deflected over the baseline off the stick of Natasha Del Borello. It's a long corner. Vic Park, still a player down. Doing the attack, it comes wide again to Harvey. Harvey faced with Del Borello. Del Borello gets the upper hand this time and she gets the free hit. Debanche. Changes direction, such fast feet. It's almost like she's doing the flamenco sometimes, she's so quick. Eliza Smith pushes it forward into the path of Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe looking to play that forward for Sammy Prost, but Frusha read it well, and Prost knew she was never going to get there, so just changed her pace and just made sure that she was in a position just to cover that. Sammy Prost, who went to Pretoria Girls High, was recruited by the club in 2014. Pretoria Girls High, of course, in Johannesburg, or, well, South Africa. It's in the city of Pretoria. Famous girls' school. And again, just playing out of the back line for Vic Park. Not quite the connections there between Rockcliffe and Nolder. And too much pace on that pass for Lucy McCorkendale. So we're into the final minute. And that means that Vic Park are back to their full quota of players. But they're still under pressure. Fruscia carries it out over the 23 metre line, gets a foul from Paula de Bonche. Off the foot, and Vic Park again taking their time. I think they're ready for. The oranges at half time. Played straight into the feet again. This time self pass. A little bit more urgency. 15 seconds left on the clock. If they're going to get something out of this, they need to get it forward quickly. Renee Rockcliffe. It's a good pass from her, managing to pick out Danielle Bestel. Bestel, well, you could see she was trying to look to the near post and try and get a deflection off the stick of Claudia Nielsen, but misdirected the pass and ball went harmlessly out of play so the players come off for the half time break and although it's been end to end stuff there have been no goals as yet it is at half time Vic Park nil Suburban Lions nil
The players making their way out of the shade into the sunlight here at the Perth Hockey Stadium. The second half of this match in the Premier One competition about to get underway. Still no goals. It's Vic Park nil, Suburban Lions nil. Suburban Lions top of the ladder have yet to drop a point in 2019. So this has been a good achievement by Vic Park. Currently sitting third on the ladder. They've just lost the one game. That was to Westside Wolves last week. So... They are certainly in amongst the contenders for 2019. The hooter goes, and the whistle now goes, but it will be Lions to get us underway. Maddie Radcliffe over the ball. Goes back to Paula de Bonche. Eliza Smith, who missed most of last season with an ankle injury. It wasn't hockey-related, so she'll no doubt be really pleased to be Back out there wearing the yellow and blue of Suburban Lions. Nothing worse when you're young and you're out with an injury. Certainly at the moment, Jamie Thomas at the back for Vic Park has been outstanding. Oh, just missed there as she tried to play it on the reverse stick, Tina Mash. Certainly Vic Park liking the short passes. Trying to play out of defence. Bestel, determined as ever. She's chasing, closing down. And Renee Rockcliffe this time stealing possession. But coming across to get it back was Hannah Smith. Smith will help it down the line. Paula Debonge faced with Bestel. Goes past her. And also the recovering Renee Rockcliffe manages to pick out Ash Nelson. Nelson... Feeding it forward, and it will be now Prost. Prost into the circle. Telling tackle being made there by Abby Taylor. It is a long corner, though, to Lyons. Nelson plays it into the path of Del Borello. Del Borello tries to get it to into the circle. Thomas got a slight touch, and Vic Park carry out of defence. And drawing the foul. That was good play defensively from Abby Taylor. Uh, it's quite tricky in that corner now. The sun is dropping down in that corner. So playing out of defence, if you go to the air, it's very difficult. Good work again being done by Renee Rockcliffe. But, well, I thought it was her free hit and into the circle. And a shot, but a miss off the ball from Maddie Ratcliffe. Nelson looking to feed it into the path of Tina Mash. She's dispossessed. And it's back again now with Prost. Prost looking to fire it towards the circle but cut out by Bestel, chance for Vic Park to attack, Kimberly Young now, she's got to get past Owens, Young's got a bit of pace Young accelerates, Owens stays with her, Young just checks back plays the square ball across the top of the circle but nobody there for Vic Park, well I said Kimberly Young was quick, she was part of the track and field team when she was in the USA at the University of Massachusetts as well as their hockey team so pretty talented all round athlete and also a very smart young lady, having attended three universities. So Thomas again carries up this time over the 23 metres. Finds Bestel. Bestel. Uh, and she knew it had just clipped her foot. Thomas again back, but she's given the ball away to Maddie Ratcliffe. That's dangerous now as Paula Demanche is attacking on the right-hand side, but coming across was Thomas. She snuffed out the attack illegally, so free hit to Suburban Lions. Owens now. And another free hit goes the way of the Lions. Nelson back to Owens. And Owens wins yet another free hit. Uh, she just takes it away from the circle. But it's all come to naught. It will be a 16-yard hit for Vic Park. And you just wonder where the goals are going to come from in this match. We saw Emma Reid hit the post in the sixth minute. An absolutely blistering shot at the moment. And also we saw 
some lively attacks from Lyons, but thwarted by Mackenzie Epps. Here's great chance. Good pass into the path of Emma Reed. Plays it towards the back post and on the... Oh, well, that was improvisation at its best. Bartram came out and it wasn't a great trap inside the circle, but in the end, it was a wonderful bit of skill by Michelle Harvey to actually get a shot away. Unfortunately, though, it went wide of the goal. Do you feel that maybe it's going to take a little bit of magic Similar to that we just saw from Harvey. Into the sunlight the ball is played. Bursting forward again is Ali Nolda. Nolda, she's taking one player with her, tumbles as she goes into the circle and the free hit awarded just outside. Kimberly Young plays the ball backwards. Nolda keeps possession, leaves two players behind and then is fouled. So another free hit to Vic Park. Debange trying to do the defending where the ball goes off her stick. So long corner. Bestop just helping it back now. Gets the return pass, but she didn't play it. Get it under control, and it rolls harmlessly out of play. So that's a good deflection if you're a Lions fan. Owens accelerates forward, collects the ball, and gets a free hit. Another foul by the retreating... Emma Reid, I think it was. Uh, Vic Park organised at the top of the circle. Young collects. Goes square, but unfortunately it was not square enough. It was just a little bit behind the runner, Michelle Harvey. Del Borello on the ball now for Suburban Lions. Just gives it away straight to Jay Just, but she returns the favour. Smith. And then played down the line by Fogarty. A little bit scrappy the last couple of minutes and just left behind there by Emma Reed. Sammy Pross picks up for Lions and her square pass is intercepted and taken away by Kayla O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan is quick as she gets in a foot race with Hannah Smith. Lovely pass infield and was that a foot? Yes, it was indeed. Good play from Ellie Nolda and Vic Park have their fifth penalty corner of the match. Can they make this one count? So Emma Reed at the baseline, smiles at the top of the circle. Bestel to stop for Frusia. Well, it's not a good trap again, and it just caught the heel of Danielle Bestel. It's another penalty corner wasted by Vic Park. Daniel Bestel, who was voted the player of the match in the Anzac Day game against Wasps this year. I believe that was the first time that Wasps had actually lost the game. So, feather in the cap for Vic Park, their arch rivals. And a feather in the cap for Daniel Bestel. Being given away, and that's danger now into the circle. What a telling tackle that is. Really good from the captain, Rachel Frusha. Needed to make that tackle. Rachel Frusha, of course, made her AHL debut back in 2013 alongside Ash Nelson and the likes of Kobe McGurk and also Catherine Slattery. Chance now for Fogarty. 
Ogri plays it back to Del Borello. Smith will go wide now to Lindsay Wright. And the great thing to watch is Lindsay Wright may not have age on her side, but I tell you what, her movement is fantastic. The position her body's in when she receives the ball is a lesson for all. Just so balanced and always making sure that when she receives the ball, she's got a number of options. She's not limited by the position her feet are in when she receives the ball. So another free hit to Suburban Lions as we approach the final five minutes now of the third quarter. Still no goals in this match, but it really is a cat and mouse affair. Lindsay Wright just helping it out to Owens. Owens into the circle it goes. Mackenzie Epps though played it off her pads and it went up in the air. So it is a penalty corner for Lions, their third. And they now have a really good opportunity to break the deadlock. Everybody getting around Lindsay Wright. Player coach. Maddie Radcliffe. In fact, it's Sammy Prost. So Paula de Balch. Prost all in close proximity. Right stops. Prost to right. Back to Prost. Prost shoots. Oh, to the back post. And it was really well worked. But it is another penalty corner. Two lines. They couldn't get past Mackenzie Epps. The umpire wanting them to immediately get on with things. So making her way back down, Eliza Smith. And again, it's Debosh, Prost, and Lindsay Wright. Lindsay Wright to do the stopping. She stops it on her own stick this time. Cracks a shot. Mackenzie Epps saves. The rebound is there. Epps smothers, and it's another penalty corner. So now the Lions equal Vic Park. This will be their fifth penalty corner. Good goalkeeping, though, by Mackenzie Epps, just 19 years of age. Deputising for Rach Lynch. So Debarge Prost and right again. This time it is stopped. Goes to Debarge. Debarge on the back stick, and she's got it in. Paula Debarge on the reverse stick. A wonderful strike by her. Finally breaks the deadlock, and it is Suburban Lions who take the lead. A wonderful strike from the penalty corner. And just as I was praising Mackenzie Epps, maybe I put the kibosh on it. I apologise if you're a Vic Park fan and you feel that that is the case. Well, now Vic Park will have to try and throw something at Suburban Lions. But Paula de Balch breaking the deadlock. Really important goal. Of course, her dad, Jorge de Balch Sinner, was a very famous coach. And her mother wasn't a bad player by all accounts as well, Emi Nasrallah. Good work by Maddie Radcliffe, just dinking the ball past Maddie Naylor Pratt. Radcliffe looking to just push that one forward, but good defence again. And Young dispossessed by Ash Nelson. I said a good defence a few seconds ago. Who else would it have been but Jamie Thomas? She has been superb at the back for Vic Park today. Owens just losing out there to Claudia Nielsen. Jamie Thomas, who has a birthday coming up fairly soon, 28th of May. Be her 22nd birthday. That's just run away from Ruby Fogarty and out of play. We're in the final three minutes now of the third quarter. Suburban Lions finally with a goal. Charlotte uh, Owens again is a player that's really shown plenty of work down the right hand side for Suburban Lions. Oh. 
Charlotte Owens is just 17 years of age as well. So another youngster who's come through the Lions junior ranks. Comes wide now to Naila Pratt. Naila Pratt plays it off the foot of Angela Chilwell. So free hit to Vic Park. They've got just under two minutes to try and find an equaliser if they're going to go into the final break all square. Bestel making herself available. Gets the pass. It's not a great trap by her. And Nelson picks up the crumbs. Smith surrounded and played that one, I thought, a little bit high. And certainly Kimberly Young holding her wrist. No complaints from her. Just shaking that wrist off now. Lindsay Wright again. Nice little dummy from her. Rick Park, though, back with possession as we enter the final minute. That's asking a lot of Kimberly Young coming across and should claim that easily as Eliza Smith. And good 3D skills from her, just dinking it over the two Vic Park sticks that were in front of her. She's come up with the ball again, manages to find Maddie Radcliffe. Radcliffe manages to turn around from Bestel. It was good work, though, by Frusha. But Ash Nelson now will be sandwiched and... Bestel will steal possession back for Vic Park. A little bit of space for Michelle Harvey. She can make things happen. That's a good pass from her into the path of Ellie Nolder. Nolder into the circle. Finds a foot. Penalty corner. This is a chance for Vic Park with 24 seconds remaining in this quarter. Can they get an equaliser now? Good work again by Ellie Nolder. So Emma Reed strolls down to the baseline. Frusha and Bestel wait again. Haven't had a lot of luck with the trapping today. Bestel trapping for Frusha. Better this time. Frusha takes a touch. It deflects. It's a good save from Bartram and it's ricocheted away. And it's claims of a back stick by the umpire. So. Lions take their time and that's just played forward. Well, they may get time. I think the clock's going to be against them as Fogarty goes wide and it will deflect alone long to the baseline. The hooter goes and that is the end of the third quarter. But the deadlock has been broken. Paula Debanche with a penalty corner goal in the 41st minute means that we go into the final break with a scoreline that reads Vic Park nil, Suburban Lions 1. Well, the coaches have had their final words with their players. The big question is, has Chris Taylor managed to inspire his Vic Park Panthers team? They're trailing by one goal to nil. They have 15 minutes in which to snatch a draw or even steal a victory. They've been in this match throughout, but they're taking their time coming out. The whistle goes and having to rush a little bit 
as Lions get the final quarter underway. The shadows stretching across the Perth Hockey Stadium. And I can tell you it's a real difference in temperature from the sunshine to the shade. Pressure applied, but Lindsay Wright, calm as ever, faced with the pressure that she was under there from Michelle Harvey. It's gone out over the side, so it won't be a 16. So suddenly you see the Lions players pushing up with a high press, trying to not allow Vic Park out from their defensive line. Umpire telling them to get on with play. Flick to the air, missed by Prost. Owens, though, brought it down. Right now being pursued this time by Jay Just. Comes all the way back to Smith. Smith has options wide on the left-hand side. She... Plays it out to Del Borello. Del Borello finds De Bosch. Nelson. Ash Nelson playing more in the middle of the park than we were used to seeing her, obviously, in the forward line for the Hockey Roos in her heyday. And I must admit, I think somebody's actually been tampering with her Wikipedia page. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Is great defence again. Sees Vic Park come up with the ball. Um, Ash Nelson's Wikipedia page now says that along with Caitlin Krajicic, who is the uh, team manager's daughter, they're earning a salary of $2.3 million dollars playing for Suburban Lions. Now, I don't think Ash Nelson has ever seen money like that playing hockey, but I'm sure she would love it. But it does make quite amusing reading and proves that you can never always trust what is on Wikipedia. Don't think she's aware of it anyway, but someone's having a bit of a f fun with it. Ooh, that was lifted high. Frusia brought it down, though. Helped out by Hannah Nalder, but... Free hit goes Lions way. Played again into Hannah Nalder by Maddie Radcliffe. Nelson plays on, but the ball wasn't stopped. So we're going to have to come back to Bonch this time. Just stops it. Finds Nelson. Nelson was looking to play the return pass, but really good tackle coming in. And Vic Park carrying it forward again. Good work coming from Ellie Nalder. Nalder's had a good game and... Taking it all the way back, Lindsay Wright. Good sway of the hips from her. Ash Nelson, dispossessed by Frusha. Frusha gets the free hit. Nelson has to retreat. Rachel Frusha, good pass, picking out Nalder again. Wide on the right hand side. That deflects up off the stick of Natasha Del Borello, so free hit again. Nalder looking to try and get round the back. She earns another free hit. Andy Nalder has had real success on the flanks. That looked as if it caught the shin of Nelson right on the edge of the circle. So Abby Taylor steps forward, comes back to Frusha. She'll go direct into the circle, deflected at the top, picked up by Bestel. Bestel looks to play it in, and unfortunately it was the wrong side of Kimberly Young. The deflection, though meaning that it's a long corner for Vic Park. Taken quickly, Jamie Thomas. Well, wouldn't it be amazing if she scored with a game she's had tonight? Dispossessed, though, by Debanche. Nelson carries it forward. Lovely weighted pass into the run of Angela Chilwell. Chilwell has to get past Frusha. He's made a good run to get defensively, and then that was lifted into Frusha. I thought she was just inside the D when it hit her shins, but umpire felt differently. This time it's Michelle Harvey coming back, making sure the pass to Charlotte Owens doesn't find its mark. Nielsen now giving chase. That's really good running from Claudia Nielsen. But it's equally good defence. Well, it's not in the end because she's been penalised, Hannah Smith. So Vic Park, we've still got 10 minutes left in the match. They've got time to pull an equaliser. Certainly they're applying plenty of pressure at the moment. Emma Reid gets it into the circle. Kimberly Young trying to weave some magic. She's still got possession. Young dinks it over the top. Nalder now. Nalder runs towards the baseline. Plays it into the pads of Bartram. 
And now it's Matty Radcliffe again. And that's a great pass from Ratcliffe to Chilwell. Chilwell into the circle. Nulda, Afrusha rather comes back, steals it again. That is a superb tackle. Chilwell was just faced with Mackenzie Apps and Frusha came from nowhere. Just a little touch to steal it back. And now we see Vic Park on the attack. Well, it's end to end at the moment. Fogarty slips it to Maddie Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe has Chilwell outsider, decides to cut back infield, was trying to feed it back into Ruby Fogarty. Or Fogarty. And once again, Nielsen now on the attack. Eventually the whistle goes and we have a break in play. Now if we look back to last season, in June the Lions won this game 2-0. In August it was Vic Park that won 2-1. Sorry, but it was 2-1 to the Lions the first time, 2-1 to Vic Park the second. So again, it shows just the way this game has been played. There is very little to choose between these two teams. And that's another good steal from Nalda. What a game she's having. Again, she sets off down the right-hand side, looking to just cut inside Del Borello. Gets the free hit. Her socks come down, the shin pads showing. She gets towards the baseline, just poked over, and she's saying, surely that's a penalty corner. There was no attempt made by Del Borello to play that over the side, and I have to say, I totally agree with Ellie Nalda. Jamie Thomas helps it into the circle. It goes and it was a very difficult ball again for Young to deal with. It was almost around between her knees and her hips. Oh, that was risky. And luckily, it wasn't the best of touches from Chilwell. Ratcliffe, closed down by Bestel, manages to find Fogarty, gets the ball back. And Chilwell getting herself in a good position, but again, just as she tried to turn, just knocked the ball too far ahead, and Frusha reading the play well. Renee Rockliffe draws the foul, gets a free hit, leaves it behind. Rachel Frusha makes her way forward to take the free hit. And that was lifted up. Off the stick of chew on, nearly took Nelson's head off, but play on is the call. Nelson now. Over the side it goes. Nelson was waiting, I think, for a whistle, which never came. Daniel Bestel. Oh, it's a good pass to Kimberly Young. Young now faced with Del Borello. Young that quarter foot, so good play by Del Borello. Nelson. Ball on the end of her stick, finds Debolsch. Debolsch helping it back to Nelson. Nelson plays it infield. What a little touch that was to find Chilwell. In fact, it wasn't Chilwell. My apologies, it's Lucy McCorkendale. Well read that time by Smith, who just stepped out and got the ball, plays it. And that free hit decision goes the way of Daniel Bestel. That's the way to appeal to an umpire. Big smile on your face as if to say, come on now. And Bestel getting the decision she was looking for. And that's taken a deflection off the stick of Hannah Smith. So it'll be a big part ball from the shadow of the far corner. Good skill lifted into the air. It comes off the stick of Owens. Long corner. Claudia Nielsen getting the ball into the circle, causing problems. Just under six minutes left. Comes back to Jamie Thomas. Out wide now. Help down the line. But unfortunately, it was too acute an angle as it was deflected forward by Abby Taylor. And really left, left Nalda nothing to do. Ratcliffe using all her experience, just standing over the ball, then leaving it just to kill time. Del Borello, well, she needs to get on with it quickly now or she will be penalised. Yep, and the umpire, quite rightly. And unfortunately, just left behind there by Michelle Harvey. But it's one back again by who else but Nalda. Nalda taking on Del Borello. Gets the free hit. Nalda self-passes. Continues to make her way towards the deep. Gets a free hit just outside. And down below us, they're going, well, the tackle, the defender was not five metres. I, again, have to agree with Vic Park that the defender that made the tackle was not 
5 metres when they stepped into that space. Bestel beaten by desperate defending, coming out of defence by... It was, in fact, Eliza Smith. Yeah, I was just doubting myself there, and it's lifted, unfortunately, for Vic Park. So it will be time to breathe easy again for Suburban Lions, but they're having to work very, very hard for this victory here today against Vic Park. It's been all Vic Park for the last five minutes. A couple of breaks out of defence by Suburban Lions. But can Vic Park find an equaliser? Time is their enemy at the moment. Jamie Thomas, who's had an outstanding game along with Ellie Nalder for Vic Park. And just as I say that, she gives possession away to Maddie Radcliffe. But she recovers, makes the tackle. Ratcliffe plays on very quickly. Ratcliffe goes infield. Bestel. And it's slipped to Sammy Prost. And Nelson keeps it in play brilliantly. McCorkindale looking to feed it to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe crossed the face of goal. It wasn't actually McCorkindale. My apologies, it was Ellie Pearson. So three and a half minutes left. Can Vic Park find an equaliser or are they staring at their second defeat of the season? And Suburban Lions marching on unbeaten in this, their fourth game. And everybody you can feel is a little bit nervous. The Lions fans wondering whether they can hang on. Vic Park fans wondering whether they can find an equaliser. Pouncing on that, Sammy Pross determined. And she did well. Miss trap at the back from Frusha means there's a little bit of pressure now on Hannah Nalder. Gives it back to Frusha. Frusha missed traps though. And Pearson got the touch. It went wide though. Good deflection in the end for Vic Park. Now Danielle Bestel, a little bit of space for her. Finds Kimberly Young, but a miss trap from her on halfway when she needed to be absolutely perfect. And look at how long Charlotte Owens will take to play this one back into play. Del Borello calling for the ball wide down below us is Hannah Smith. She gets the pass. Down the line it goes well intercepted again. Jamie Thomas working well. And that's a free hit going the way of Kayla O'Sullivan. Jamie Thomas again saying she's going to get this game under control. Looks to play it square. Bestel at the top of the circle gets it in. Debanche, brilliant tackle from her and manages to find the foot of Emma Reed. Uh, Paula Debanche just winding back the clock there and just showing why she's played at the level she has. Played in Belgium for a while and, as I mentioned, internationally for Spain. On the ball again. Her goal, the difference between the two teams at the moment. Runs straight into the Vic Park player, drawing the obstruction once again Owens showing maturity beyond her years just delaying time and using up the clock as best on now carries forward that's a great pass picking out Claudia Nielsen Nielsen held up though by Owens into the circle it goes trying to get on the end of that though was Kayla O'Sullivan and it's a free hit that's gone Suburban Lions way. And Owens again just picking the ball up, slowing things down as we're about to go into the final minute. They've not pulled their goalkeeper, Vic Park. And that's a steal. It's a good steal. Kayla O'Sullivan, good weaving run from her. Managed to leave Nelson behind. But then as she tried to drag the ball back, well, she does get the free hit. Del Borello conceding the foul. Taken quickly. Need to get the ball into the circle. Down the line they go again. And that was deflated off. Long corner it will be. 30 seconds left. Screaming to the ball patrol who were just dreaming there on the side. Totally unaware of what's going on on the pitch. In it comes. Deflected. It's gone wide again. Will be another long corner. But the time is really against them. Daniel Bestel. Plays the ball back. The captain, Rachel Frusha. In it goes, looking for a deflection. Unfortunately, it hits the foot again of Kimberly Young. And she had the chance to really make the headlines there. 
but it missed us Dick quarter foot and that will be the final play as it comes out wide to Ash Nelson the hooter goes and you can see down below Kimberly Young shakes hands with Nelson and realizes just how important that opportunity was but it wasn't to be for Vic Park today really great game and we thank our sponsors again Osdrill, FMG, Cookerborough, Tiger Turf and Danks Furniture but it was the goal from Paula de Bosch that was the difference between the two teams. That goal coming in the third quarter. And at the end of the day, it is Vic Park 1, Suburb sorry, Vic Park 0, Suburban Lions 1.